I think he covered all the bases, you know. We, he outlined the steps of a new direction that the country has to take. The path that we are on is not one which will uplift the lives of the majority of people. So he made very specific recommendations about what we need to do differently. So it was a criticism of where we are now, but with specific proposals as how we can build a Jamaica that will include all Jamaicans. Right now the path that we are on, it will grow our country but only those at the top will benefit and the majority at the bottom won't be uplifted. We are committed to policies that will lift up everybody. We want a man of integrity. We want somebody with integrity to lead with. We don't want nobody to come from flip flop and promise we not going to give it. We need a strong leader. It was a broad and general presentation, touching on a lot of areas, but I think it lacked substantive um, and meaty present, um, presentations of elements that people could hold on to as being achievable and something that really would represent a hope. What he spoke to was the critical of everything. Absolutely wonderful. I felt very privileged to be listening to him for this very in-depth presentation and I am very, very um, infused to work with him. Time come. Time come. The presentation was simply awesome. It, it went from the economic, the social, the cultural, the creative. It spanned the whole gamut of Jamaican society. This man intends to remake Jamaica and remake it for Jamaicans. He's proven his track record as an attorney, leading commercial lawyer a proven investment banker and now he wants to turn his skills to lifting Jamaica. He is about lifting up Jamaica and, and Jamaica, not, not himself.